This is Steve Young for the Code Roundtable. I'd like to talk for just a minute about the, the issue of, of negative externalities um, of social media, of the cell phone that you're using, what, two hours a day? Um, and negative externalities is the eco economist term. The other ways of thinking about this are public goods and public bads. There are many public goods associated with social media and cell phones. I don't know how I could get stuff done without, without my cell phone. On the other hand, recently, uh, the United States Surgeon General, Dr. Vivek Murthy, uh, published a warning about social media and young people looking at the negative externalities of young people on the emotional health of young people. He sees, quote, the defining public health crisis of our time is concern about the mental health and well-being of Americans, especially among young people. He said, we don't know enough about how social media in particular is impacting children's emotional states, brain development, and social growth. Well, if you ask me, emotional states, brain development, and social growth are kind of like 90% of who you are as a person. It's, it's your agency as a human being. It's your sense of well-being. It's your ability to contribute. It's, it's overcoming senses of alienation, dissatisfaction. Um, we all hit bumps in the road of life, or as a friend of mine used to say, we all hit potholes in the road of life. How do we respond? Sometimes wonderful things happen to us. And how do we respond? Do they go to our head? Do we share the good fortune? Whatever. It's how we're formed as people, as individuals. And what is social media doing to that? There was another article I read that uh, different people, politicians, were looking, again, among Americans. So, you know, is this limited to the American culture? Uh, uh, or is it, are there these products which people buy and love, which are contributing to this? that social isolation among Americans is growing, and that's contributing to loneliness. And when people feel isolated and lonely, those feelings are not necessarily constructive. Usually they're debilitating in various ways. Uh, we, we don't feel as vigorous, as resilient. We wonder, what's, you know, you know, why don't people like me? Who do I, who can I trust? And the the issue is for them is uh, social media, big tech companies. Um, one politician said a social media ecosystem that really drives young people to unhealthy places. Uh, he worries about his two sons, 11 and 14, facing a culture with less natural opportunity for connection. In some sense, thanks to social media, we have more connections than ever before. I, my wife is following people on, on Facebook all around the world. I can do that too. I can pick up a cell phone and I can call friends just about anywhere in the world. And I'm connected. Um, I have text messages. On the other hand, if I sit at home and just do this on the cell phone, and I don't go out you know, to play golf with friends or drink beer or hang out in the park and just get to know new people who are walking their dogs, um, it's going to have an impact on me. Are we thinking about this? Is it the responsibility of the companies who make the cell phones to think about this? Should they take into account in the design of the cell phone or the programs? Or is it the companies like TikTok, et cetera, et cetera, that use the cell phones? Should they be thinking about this? Uh, and if they don't want to, do we regulate them? Do we tax them? What do we do? I don't see the, a, a happy future if everybody is going to be nervous, anxious, lonely, um, and, and children are going to be stunted in their emotional and intellectual development. 